All right, so in this unit conversion problem, we're looking to convert um, grams per cubic centimeter into kilograms per cubic meter. Here's how to do it. So you start by writing 0 0.360 grams per cubic centimeter like that as a fraction to start, and the cubic centimeters are in the denominator. Okay, so it's two steps here. We've got to convert grams to kilograms and cubic centimeters to cubic meters. So let's start with the grams to kilograms because that's a little easier. In looking at the chart up here, we know that there are a thousand, a thousand grams in a kilogram. That's what a kilo means, a thousand. So 1,000 grams goes in the denominator and one kilogram goes in the numerator. And I write it like that because I know I want grams to cancel grams. Okay, now I have to convert cubic centimeters to cubic meters. Um, here's a straightforward way to do it. Um, we know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter, and I write it like that because I know I'm going to want centimeters on the top to cancel these centimeters on the bottom. But they don't cancel just yet. I only have one centimeter up here, and I've got centimeters cubed down here, so I need to do the conversion factor two more times. Okay, now when I, when I multiply a centimeter times a centimeter times a centimeter in the numerator, I get centimeters cubed, and now they cancel that cubic centimeter in the denominator. And so I'm left with kilograms in the numerator, a meter times a meter times a meter in the denominator, and that equates to meters cubed. So when I do the math here, I get 0.36 times 100 times 100 times 100, times 100 divided by 1,000. 360 kilograms per meter cubed. Okay? Now, let me show you this whole conversion grid in a little kind of simpler way. The beginning is the same, 0.36 grams per cubic centimeter. I'm still going to convert grams to kilograms the same way. Only now, see these three steps I can put into one by doing it like this. 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. I'm going to cube the whole conversion factor. And by doing that, I have to cube everything inside the everything inside the parentheses here. The 100 gets cubed, the centimeters get cubed, the 1 gets cubed, and the, and the meters get cubed. So now, when I check units, grams cancel grams, centimeters cancel centimeters cubed, and I'm left in units of kilograms per meter cubed. And the answer I get is just the same as it was up there, 360 kilograms per meter cubed.